pie. Can I help you? you? Yes, I'd like a ham and cheese omelet and more wham fries. I'm sorry. We stopped serving breakfast, but we are on the lunch menu now. I want breakfast. Well, you can't have it. We're not serving it. Is that the manager? Could I speak to him, please? Gucci, Gucci, go! <laughs> it just needed a good tickle. Go. Has anyone seen Ronald McDonald lately? The Colonel is still rocking his moves. Jack in the Box is still going strong. Oh, no, I'm not wearing that. Got it. Terrible idea. And even the Hamburglar made an appearance and disappearance in a 2023 commercial. So what happened to Ronald McDonald? The once iconic mascot seems to have all but disappeared. The absence is so glaring that Burger King took a jab with a campaign called Lonely No More. So where has Ronald gone? And will he return? Well, to answer that question, we have to go back, way back to 1946, when Bozo, perhaps the most famous clown, was first introduced. Bozo the Clown quickly became a mainstay on children's television. Willard Scott, who worked as a local TV personality throughout the 50s and 60s, took over playing Bozo starting at 1959. <laughs> See, I can still do it. That's the Bozo laugh. Scott would go on to play Ronald McDonald, the hamburger happy clown, from 1963 to 1966. Oh, we've already met. I know we're going to be friends, too, because I like to do everything boys and girls like to do, especially when it comes to eating those delicious McDonald's hamburgers. The fictional fantasy world McDonald Land was also introduced in 1963. The series centered on a magical clown who goes on adventures with his friends Grimace, the Hamburglar, Birdie the Early Bird, the Fry Kids, the McNugget Buddies, and the Happy Meal Gang. You guys are top floor. Since then, these characters have been used regularly in McDonald's advertising campaigns. They were also used as the basis for play places attached to many restaurants. Over the years, Ronald would only be portrayed by eight other actors. Bev Bergeron. Hamburgers, that's what's best. Now it says french fries. Whoops. I don't think my machine can decide either. George Voorhis. Can you tell us what you'll be doing while you're here? Well, I'm here to see all my friends who love McDonald's great hamburgers, french fries, cokes and things. Bob Brandon. Hey, everybody ready to get your picture taken? To celebrate cheeseburger time at McDonald's, Ronald was taking pictures of all his friends. Okay, now smile and say cheeseburger. King Moody. The boys and girls will be here at McDonald's any minute now. Hamburgers, yummy yoso. Squire Friedel. Oh, they're just crawling around. <laughs> Jack Depke. I am hungry. Oh, that's his name. You got it. Give me food. Not so fast. Don't oh, turn out the lights. <laughs> David Hussey. Don't think so. Rainy days can be a blast when you stop jobs in their tracks. And Brad Lennon. Much like mall Santas that represent the real Santa Claus, McDonald's would hire actors to dress up as Ronald and travel to various McDonald's locations. At its peak, there was an estimated 300 Ronald McDonald's across the United States. As you might expect, there were rules to follow when playing this role, some of which were a little bizarre. One of the most important rules is that Ronald is never allowed to reveal his true personality. He used to be rodeo clown. <laughs> When he's in costume, the only name he goes by is Ronald McDonald. No two Ronalds are ever allowed to be spotted together. Ronalds are never allowed to hug kids, but can pat the children on the back. They should never directly promote food, they're simply there to provide the idea of fun. Can't tell them that burgers come from cows. When in character, they're not allowed to eat McDonald's food. They have to be fit, or at least look fit. They have to follow a script when answering questions. If they can't answer a question, they're instructed to say, 
Ask someone who's wearing normal shoes. They're big red shoes. And now I have all the shoes I'll ever need. In 2003, with the introduction of the I'm Loving It campaign, McDonald's began to focus its marketing more on adults and less on children. And so the decision was made to phase out McDonald land. <gasps> While Ronald McDonald continued well past that time, it marked the end of the McDonald land characters, who have rarely appeared since then. By 2010, the link between fast food and high rates of obesity was widely publicized. In 2011, more than 500 physicians wrote attacking the ethics and morality of using a clown character to market unhealthy food to children. When Ronald McDonald was introduced, clowns were widely considered lovable and friendly. Unfortunately, today, clowns are generally seen as creepy. Somewhere along the line, the image of clowns has been tarnished. Perhaps from movies like It, Batman, or even cartoon characters like Krusty the Clown. You and a free Krusty Burger! Mm, mm, mm. And cut. Bah! Some of the McDonald's early ads didn't help either. One commercial featuring Willard Scott introduces himself to a young boy who claims he isn't supposed to talk to strangers, only to become convinced when Ronald magically creates some hamburgers for him. Mom told me never to talk to strangers. Well, your mother's right as always, but I'm Ronald McDonald. Give me a McDonald's shake. <laughs> well, you sound like Ronald. Here, I'll prove it. I'll give you three more hamburgers. In 2016, McDonald's officially retired Ronald after a series of creepy clown sightings were reported across the United States. In South Carolina, in one month, more than a dozen people were arrested for clown pranks and related incidents. So, has Ronald scared away the millennials and Generation Zs? Is the McDonald's fast food chain in trouble? Today, McDonald's has more restaurant locations worldwide than any other fast food chain. McDonald's annual revenue for 2023 was $25 billion, a whopping 10% increase from 2022. I think they're going to be just fine. Knowing that his restaurant chain is going to be okay without him, Ronald can enjoy his retirement or pursue that movie career that he never quite had time for. Don't miss our next videos, just hit subscribe.